Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Joe Gray 50 x and I have actually some brand new One Piece Burning Blood gameplay. Now recently there was an update for this game. Don't know what that update is for. No, sadly. But what I am going to bring you is a what if battle. Now <clears throat> After the time skip, where we are currently at in the Whole Cake Island arc, we have Brooke pretty much about to fight Big Mom, the Soul Queen versus the Soul King, so to speak. And Brooke boldly announced this um, at the beginning of his fight. He was like, do you know what they call me? The Soul King. And he like scrums his guitar and he just looks absolutely dope. So pretty much the closest character to Big Mom currently that we have in the game would be um, Gecko Moria. So uh, I decided to use him. Now, wouldn't it be interesting to actually see Brook refight Gecko Moria in the future now that Brook has a better understanding of his powers? Because in, originally, Brook said it himself, he doesn't even know the full extent to his double fruit. And it seems like now he's pretty confident in those abilities, considering how how arrogant he um, sounded before he told Pedro to be, be bait for the rest of the um, Big Mom Pirates. I've never seen Brook so cocky or arrogant. It was kind of like a Zoro moment almost, if you ask me. Now, what we have here is a rare opportunity where we get to see something. Another Scar Head member shine other than Luffy. We saw Luffy fought, fight. We saw Sanji have his quick fights and then he got handicapped. And uh, so, so far, that's all we've had, really. Uh, we saw Chopper fight a little bit. Um, we saw Nami take out Brule, which was actually pretty good. It kind of made me happy. And um, so far, that's about it. Now, we know that currently in the story, Pedro and Tamago actually have some kind of long distance past beef, so to speak. We don't know quite too much details on that. They didn't go too far in detail on it. Um, uh, in the most recent chapter, I might actually start doing chapter reviews just to put up gameplay with and everything, just because it'd be a unique thing. I mean, you don't really see no one really posting the One Piece Burning Blood gameplay anymore. It was a fresh game, so people did it, and now it's kind of died out. So I kind of want to keep this burning blood alive, so to speak, pun intended. Um, but my thing is, Big Mom is currently dashing at Brooke full speed full force she's coming at him with the intent to kill him well not kill him but she wants Brooke as a trophy pretty much just like she wants Chopper as a trophy she likes collecting rare and unique animals and for those who may not know spoiler alert I will have this in the um the title this video does contain a lot of spoilers if you are an anime only watcher but we see Brooke um not Brooke, my bad, my bad. I got off I got off track. Um Big Mom's double for ability allows her to take parts of other people's soul in her own soul and put them in inanimate objects to bring them to life. Now, Gecko Moria couldn't do this, but what he could do, he could take the shadow from somebody else, which is I would say the opposite of soul, your shadow. I mean yada yada. But he can take the shadow from someone and he probably could put them in animate objects we don't know but what he chose to do is build a zombie army based on i think that theme was kind of just for the halloween like time of the year and his whole dark and murky vibe and everything he kind of felt like a uh a heinous villain like his his whole appearance just look disgusting dark and evil so it, it fits for him and um so I was like, why not? And first and foremost, I am a fan of Brooke, especially in this game. Brooke's character is a lot better than people give him credit for. And so I actually use him a lot of the time when I'm practicing. If I have a, um, if I'm using Swordsman, my first is always going to be Brooke. Then Zoro will be secondary. And then it'd either be Shanks or Mihawk, but mainly uh, Shanks simply because he's the harder to use. And Mihawk is pretty much that character that anybody can pick up and just be all right at so i don't like using mihawk too much i mean zoro is great too but there's a bit more skill required when using zoro um <clears throat> that's just my opinion but anyway guys i had it to where brook pretty much won this fight and the reason for that was because i feel like brook now in the current story he could be gecko moria with no problem he seemed fairly confident in his abilities and like i said before Brooke didn't even know the extent to his full power and he was still able to 
to shut down opponents. So if you guys enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button, comment, tell me what you think. And as always, it is your boy Choker850X, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.